pretty mm -hmm. easily versus the Slark and the Marana. It's oh, really good. Direct attention. No sound. No sound. Really. Did not because I asked them. I'm not sure if they're trolling. They might be trolling the sticks on it. Yeah. Abby contesting up to the top lane. But EG's all in position. They have the double ion shell, so they're really contesting up to Oh my god, cancel almost just straight dies. So auto attacks. Claim the bounty. That ion shell, though, does a lot of work, but no bounty run at level 1 for Sumel, so. He'll settle down a little bit for now. Zephyr trying to cut Zai off. Actually, doesn't have the mana, but does have stick charges, so can charge out of here. Need be. They've only got one way to interrupt it, not quite enough mana for the arrow, but they're gonna have the combo soon. Crush into an arrow available. Crush it. What's the arrow? arrow? Oh, and Zai oh, said, no, just kidding. And this might be a first blood, but oh, the high ground, the crush comes in again, not gonna matter, cancel, leaping forward towards the I want the crit kill, he will get it, he could get Zai as well, it might be a double, how many bashes will Zai get, he's gonna need like two or three at least, he gets one, then the charge, one more should do the double trick, it's gonna be a buzz, he doesn't get it. Cancel will survive. And he gets away. He's even there to help monkeys out though. RTZ sidestepping the arrow as well. Something that Slark can take advantage of. Wow. Let's go for the Iron Talon. He's gonna make the move around Zai. He charges on the Swindles, but that's also directly into the Diabolic Eden. Pay for that. Spot between a uh, rock and a hard place there with the Marana. Definitely a lot of emphasis though, as you mentioned, in the mid lane. Putting one mid lane more than one even behind the tower bottom lane. Forever. Uh -oh. This is gonna be his has advice. no TP. Already shielded before the Oko wound, so that's not even counting for the charge. But they could move in and catch crit. The crush here will be his death. Most likely Swindle's coming in, follow up stun available, gets the kill, now needs to run away, though RTZ. No Oko wound for some time, but has the phase good advantage. Swindle's running in, and fades. Like Shadow Savior, they might even be able to move back in on the Zai if he's not careful. A crush here. So overall, are you happy here with the start complex? Bad if you're on their side, or do you feel like they have to get more done against themselves? I think they're doing an okay job. The biggest concern for me is the set. He's only level 4 in this bottom lane. Oh, he just hit level 5 now, so hot. I think he's struggling just a bit too much. They want to have him in a better position. And Z-Freak now, drawing down. Might be just dying to the two supports. Universe Both surging the, in as well. The classic neutral deny. There is no vision. Z-Freak might just be able to TP away. Universe with that one point in vacuum is about to be in deny range now. As Cancel continues chipping away. Arrow having a fit. Side can take crush now. Last hit though, not happening as the glyph gets popped. Crit trying to deny this tower. In the meantime, they're farming ancient. Zai gets hit by the double star score. Might end up going down. Indeed, he will cancel fights to kill the tower. Is denied by Crit, but wasn't working. Crit, he might die too. Where's Arteezy? He's still farming the top lane. Now the tether out. Crit being pursued though. Angry Fish on the case and in a lot of trouble. Surged away by Universe, but getting body blocked at the same time. Sprint has worn off. Looks like he should make it out. Even though the arrow pierces through the heart of the ball of light. Great snipe there by Cancel. Only now does Arteezy arrive, and it's to the bottom lane where he'll make short work and swim. Yeesh! Alright. Oh, Cancel's in some trouble right now. He does have the Moonlight Shadow, but he's charged up right now. Do they have the Dusk? They do this time. Yeah, the third time will not be the charm. Smoke like a flex in here. They are gonna scout out Sumail. Let's just move for now, but he's got the Night Vision advantage. Sumail has not seen him just yet move. Really play with that Night Vision. Excellent! Forward there, and now he makes the jump onto Sumail. Chemical Rage activated. They're still looking to chase, though. The smoke wrap around comes through. Right past their TZ. They're gonna look to go on him. He rages off the M damage immediately. Now Z Freak into the trees, looking for the Iron Fist. Swindle's already down to start the fight. They might get the RTZ grab. No, he's still alive! Coming in high heavy. Attack to the edge of service. Now the tether to keep him alive. No longer Sumail. Hiding the trees on the wall. Great individual play by EG. Will they make it out though? Sumail trapped alone and dead. They still get the kill on the Alka. Now Sprint trying to escape, but they'll the TP for 10 seconds. What's an and he too will fall. Doesn't even need the crush. Z Freak just barely missing. Bit of, bit of that form there. EG now charging in Z Freak ready to interrupt the charge. Good setup there. The follow up comes through. The brothers start to lay in design. They want to kill this sweet boy off and they will do so. At the same time though, Moose Lark will fall. And that's the bigger loss for sure. A one for one. Dire situation, but it doesn't appear EG know or at least they want to risk it. I would not fall down, they are a bit weaker. It's a little bit hard to fight into. <laughs> That's uh, pretty scary. Yeah. Top lane, Z Freak. Looks like it might be his demise here. Right, with the charge in, the crush attacked by Z Freak doesn't get it off the time, and with failure to do so, he will definitely die. Easy even being relocated into the fray. Monkeys is there, and our Keys giving him a bit of chase, already committed the open wounds. Backing off. As mentioned, did go for the Desolator. Uh, EG, Met style finish. He's just gonna be able to throw illusions, cut creep waves. Fourth lane style crit though, bottom lane. Easily broke that. Right, for the relocate, not gonna work out. And now the chase on the Zion. They amp him up, he's gotta charge away, and it will bash Z Freak as he tries to get in range. 
straight on towards mid, and I imagine we'll be canceled. At some point, there's a leap into an arrow, but arrow so de definitely very difficult to go for him. With like enough items, it does feel like they have that opportunity. As I'm gonna charge in direct down the swing with the intense bomb, unload with easy. The turn comes so quickly, as I will be brought down. Our TZ to back away, so support for a support, and unfortunately, yeah. Definitely like just like the kind of the standard, right? The Octarine is shaping guard. Here's what we just see picked up. Mu, going for a solo pick up on Crit, but his buck, nobody's near him. He's actually completely alone. He's got the he's got Shadow Dance. He realized there was other people here, and now Mu in a lot of trouble. He's gonna commit the ultimate, tries to run away, Shadow Dancing out. Pouncing as well. He does have the apes, they can reset around and go for a round two fight. But only if the team gets in position first. The arrow crashes in. Oh, gonna connect the Marteze while he's raised. It doesn't get much done. Z-Freak's gonna likely die here on three. Make it four hero charge by side. Delivers in space. Who there to turn this one though? He continues to engage, still holds the ages. The crush comes through on the screen. Great job. Can they focus on universe? They will do. And suddenly cancel arrives. Make it a two for two. Zuck EG on the run. Zyde scrambling out. Arteezy though, getting the job done for now. Takes the habit on with him at least. And now it's the trees, they engage. A two arrow stun from Sumail, but instantly dark pack off. Mu gonna try to bring him down, but just very slow, ineffective. Poking the ages, I believe, expired during this time. Now he's gonna pounce out. He tries to run, unable to pursue over the tree line, but they get the charge. Zyde's coming in, hot and heavy. Shadow Blade's there. Oh, so close to die, and he wants to go back in. Mu's gonna come in for this. He gets to kill him. Can he jump out? You bet you can, but the concoction takes him down. Was it worth it? They really he don't have anything even to scratch do. That. Oh, and he's gonna get a free kill on Swindle here. Oh no, goodbye Swindle. He's One, two. Cash money. And Alchemist can kind of deal with that, especially at this point. 2,500 life when he has his armor toggles, chemical rage. Not to mention they have an IO as well. It might be yeah. the courier, might cancel, but can he make it out? Due to bit. Team sweeping in to engage, and now crit tethering his way back towards safety, but Moose still in pursuit, they're gonna get the F damage. Spirit's actually hitting Mu, and that immediately prompts a flurry of things and a sentry plan. They know that someone's area. So, really only a mood charge that he could grab, or maybe trade something out like an AC, get rid of that armlet potentially. Yeah, more than likely to get rid of that armlet and grab something. I'm not sure if the yeah, AC could be a free just to break high ground, but I think our team would be more than likely the one to get that after late. Oh, that was a quick two shot. This left track is not feeling like a hero anymore. ZG chasing. Confident to move forward. Z Freak does have a crush ready. Could be a 3 4 hero crush. He's just gonna fluff out an amp damage. See Mal immediately. They're gonna start sprinting after him. They're gonna jump away. And G now revving up the concoction. I'm gonna find anyone to latch onto with this. It looks like he's a self stun. They did see that. Uh, coming in. Oh, oh just, misses just misses the Dark Seer. Aggressively oh, sieging this tower. Goes for a quick, short duration stun on Z Freak. Z Freak can to spread. Back away, Monkey's there to help him. Meanwhile, Zai charging in, he's gonna isolate, cancel, tries to bring him down, the Moonlight Shadow, already committed, but he's leaped out into a beautiful back, and Universe able to interrupt that one, can they focus him down? Defensive goes up, they're trying to escape, heading to the right instead, he's gonna live for now, cancel out there, but the Illusion Bird might take him down, Zai there with the charge, will finish Monk 3 of Fallen, about to be a fourth Monkey's Forever, already committed his ult, and now, by the way, he's still a full health, but he's still quite healthy, they, they do get the eye open. Just not keeping up in items. Alk net worth more than Marana and Slark combined. Say nothing of their other core, still doing quite well on their own right. But they mow down the melee rat at the range bottom. I mean, game looking quite close to over Yanni. Heading into game two, what kind of adjustments do you want to make of your complexity? That's just the way they planned it. Is it more down to the picks? Where do you pin this one? I mean, this is like Alchemist first time. I mean, they, they banned the Storm last ban, which is definitely a good ban because they didn't have any lockdown really for him. So you can't really like, blame them for doing that, but... What's worse, right? And with what's the worse is, uh, it's not easy just destroying you with lunch. All the while. Looks like they're gonna find Swindles here momentarily. Tries for a few seconds to pull Snow, but it's a fleeting effort by him, and he will go down. Meanwhile, Monkey's up. That's pretty much the end. Like, Slark, like, when you start with your start, especially, like, you're putting yourself in a position where they can kind of just, these heroes that ramp up in a faster manner. Yeah, just, no, I, you can't really blame complexity for not game planning for the alpha, because it's, like, so bad for EG for the last, like, month. I don't, I don't know if that's really, like, a good, good like, 
reason though to not like. I mean, I love the last pick Alchemist. I, I really love the fact it. that they're they're still running it for like Siege. for drafts in that main event. It's at least if it's not only about that, it's definitely more so about that. I mean, the format. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a, if you want to be a tier one team in any manner, you have to be able to like play Alchemist. At the I mean, a hero is pretty ridiculous, especially at the last pick. Like you can see how the damage potential that he just does. He's on killable. He okay, he died once when he wasn't online at all, but now it's he's completely online. Like he's just fighting. Not even just an uphill battle. It's like a bump up a mountain. They're trying to scale the wrong side of the map at first. This is just not looking great. I'm assuming I'll kill it off to win on the one side of the map, basically. That's right, just a big bucket of gold for them. It's cancelled. Desperately trying to bring down Crit Arrow, though. Could be tanked by Zai. That is a sign of friendship here. Second. That's likely to be next. Focus now by Sumail. Mauled by the Spirit Breaker and little Karate Chop by the Code Master. Kill him off. And Ewa will get the Arteezy kill. So the tears will flow from him, but EG overall seems pretty solid. It's still a full HP outcome. It's basically a killable. You're gonna blob and then you combo with that. Nice two hero catch and they can four, five, luckily at some point. This is just bad for morale. Yeah, then, uh, I think they, they, they're definitely right. I can't look and play. He plays in clubs. His big three, I think, are like Alchemist, OB, and Murana, I think those are the ones. But, yeah, if you just look at the core pair off from EG compared to the season, you can kind of like deal with that, like, kind of dictated the way the game was going to go, unless he's too well balled in a way, but... They run, they run Meepo, by the way, complexity. I don't think they No, they don't have a Meepo player. Because that's the one other hero I know a lot of analysts have talked about. Like, Meepo's actually a good counter to because he's just so fast. He's fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get your Aghanims at like 11 minutes. There's no way. There's almost no way an Alchemist can steal stacks. Yeah, so well, benefits a lot from it. And they have Warcry to kind of Spirit. neglect a lot. There's going to be three heroes emerging into this lane rather quickly, but Zai getting forced back. Fully by the auto text as he freaker went for the early boost. He does leap out. Really good timing there. Now going to follow up with the arrow. Nails are teasy, but Ogre arrives. And all of a sudden, it's Monkeys who wants to run. He's he gets pretty tanky, but the blocks are there from Crit. Monkeys in danger into the trees. He goes, he'll have a charge fairly soon, but the move speed a little bit more. No, it's the living armor to save the day. He charges out past the wave to the rage creep. Up and out of there. He's got to stun. They got still have to stun. And with that, uh, one more auto attack. So the arrow just, just, got, just got, uh, <laughs> almost there, made it out. A big commitment, but they do get the first blood on the Spirit Breaker. Maybe. That's where it becomes like super devastating for Cole to fight because they they're very emphasized on magic damage with the OP. Weaver doesn't really dish oh, out the most bottom cancel. lane. coming in from behind. No one expects the OP, but Arteezy there to tank the arrow. Unfortunately, maybe he ends up going down instead. Gets off the stun. Zai will most likely end up falling. One extra orb gets the kill. Arteezy's walking to the ancients whenever he's making any moves on there. He's even blocking the ancients too. The sentry on top, but EG, they see the opportunity to build just push the towers down with their massive five men with Bloodlust, Tether, and Healing Ward whenever they want to use it. Uh oh, oh Z Freak, Z Freak, a rare whip there on the pounce. He is going to try to go into his. They spin onto him, removing the living armor. He will be banished, thus committed through this. But I believe Marana might have a chance. No, never mind. He's going to get the start fall off. We'll go down. He now being pursued. The bugs come through. Will there be follow-up move from Indian on Desire? Really wants to bring him down. Good overgoes, but where's the combo? They need the OD to come in and drop the hammer. He doesn't have much stolen in. Very ineffective uh -oh, fight. And now the Bruce split looking for another level. Spell that tornado. Stun follow from Arteezy. Likely another kill. Two will drop and EG just plunging forward down the mid lane. They saw it and they ping him out. Arteezy with the hill ward. Had some vision of it coming. Sumail's gonna surge his way forward. They look to engage here. Complexity getting hesitant. And while they hesitate, EG seizing the moment. There's the overgrowth. Will there be follow up? Swindle's focus brought down first. The charge comes through. It's a four hero pile up with the swarm. But do they have the damage? The war cry making He's everyone very tanky. Even an arrow under Arteezy. Can they focus him down? Zai is there trying to save him. The relocate a bit too late. They will lose their spend. They're likely to as well. This is the kind of fight that Complexity wanted. This is the kind of fight they needed. The universe now being charged, goes for the clap, doesn't have mana for the split. The arrow's gonna connect. Deep Break slams it home, make it three, it could be four. As Zai rejoins the fight, Complexity, a huge win for them already, and make it the four hero pile up indeed. They'll find all the kills. Complexity, but EG, they still have that panda split, they still have the spell and ultimate, they want to fight. They move on to Z Freak first and foremost, but he manages to leap away. The banish though almost helping as EG will get to reset around him. They begin to engage. Monkeys though with a good charge through. The living armor making the difference, keeps him alive. Arteezy. Well, already the brewmaster down, and he's not able to hit anyone, even though he's empowered with the god strength. They can reset here after the banish. Z Freak, arrow cooling down. So now we'll play Fury, but that could allow for a big one. Will he find the angle? They're gonna banish. 
charge. Not the perfect teamwork, but if the arrow connects, likely a kill. There is no relocate. Say, Sumail being focused up. Who will get the kill? Another Bashy Dark Easy back with the Nether Spike. And the orbs coming in. Complexity is heating up on Design next. Mauling the ball of light. Look, kill him on two. First it was four. And this time it's going to be five. And ultra for Moo. Complexity steamrolling forward. So because of the Astral. But Astral into Arrow gets crushed. Arteezy tries to go in, but he doesn't have God Strength. Instant ultimate by Month Forever. Brings him down. Zai, easy chase up. I am actually bluffing this drum pickup by Cancel. Enabling his team to have even more movement speed on top of the. Oh, Bash, Bash. No Bash. Coming in hot, Sumail. In a lot of trouble now. Doesn't even get off the spin. Getting focused down by the OD. Nether Strike. Easy kill. Complexity. Continue to roll. The window is about to close with Z3 getting this Aghanim Scepter. They're going to be in a lot of trouble. God, it would be great to kill him now. He is going to leap away. He has a TP, but they get onto him. 15 gold short. The Astral might buy him the time to get the Aghanim Scepter. It's going to be close, Z3. Five gold. He doesn't even bother to buy the component. The Living Armor. I don't know if he will end up going down to Hammer and Trump, though. And now Cancel looks for the fight. Focusing on Zai. The Blade Fury is there as well. They commit the split. They brought down two. Buyback on the Marana. He only has one component and 900 gold to go now and move. Chase stud focused down during God's face. A chaotic fight from Complexity. Starts from will kill up Zai, but that's it. After the buyback and Z-Freak, it could be a dieback with a clap coming in. They're gonna commit a lot to kill up this Marana where he basically had an eggs. We're now looking at him being set back a full three to four minutes with that death. Oh, from the swarm. OD still uh, a pretty damn good hero. Yep. And Z-Freak in position, he's got the eggs now. Could set this one up with an arrow. Roshan complete, EG still storming in. They've got the high ground advantage. Moonlight Shadow committed, Blink into the pit. Arteezy off the mark with that one. Do they look for the turnaround now? Blade Fury early by Sumail. He's getting hesitant, charge gets canceled. Everybody getting cold feet in this fight. As the stun goes out, on to cancel for Remember, he's the Aegis Bear. Arrow committed, it hits crit. Is that the best target? Not really sure about that. Monkeys forever is being focused down. Sumail will come off with Bloodlust Auto Tech. Now the Overgrowth Swindles trying to negate the Brewmaster for as much as possible. Z Freak could be the secret damage dealer. Cancel will have a second life to work with, but they're hounding this Marana out of the pit. She leaps up and away. This isolates in turn cancel as they continue pursuit. Sumail's starting to work on him. They commit a dust. Now that's just the Aegis. Now they gotta kill him off again, but they're down two. Make it three as he comes back. They'll try to re engage. All the cores are alive though, and move on the chase. Z Freak leaps pulling down. They can chase this. Hammer gets dropped. Look for a bit more. War Cry and a scramble back as Arteezy gets scouted out by the pesky little bug. They isolate him. They're going to follow this up with an arrow. They'll kill him off too. Arteezy dead as well. That's three. From behind. Has to be careful about sentries because they do have the Murano. So EG might have planted some down. There is one, but it's kind of close to the tower. Oh, they cancel now. Getting revealed. He's going to self banish. The team has to scramble to back him up. They will have an overgrowth. They can try. The Hurricane pikes himself backwards towards safety. But does quite get over the tree line where an Omni Slash isolates together with the multi cast. He's down very early in the fight. BK of our TZ to overgrowth there. Arrow pierces the heart of Zai, will bring him down. And now EG starting to work with our TZ there, but he's getting tight a bit. The moon, the, the Star Storm's coming in hotter and heavier. So TZ has to turn tail and run. Crit also. Dear life trying to limp away, Tree even hitting that ogre. Uh, not very effective at this stage with the armor he has, but they do successfully hang on. Force and the buyback. Force like, the be buyback. able to see whenever the Moonlight Shadow goes on. Be able to fight properly. Well, complexity. The river. They get the high ground banish, but behind Sven is Zai. Who's hunting for him under Moonlight Shadow? Trying to sneak around, the charge comes through. They're isolating Arteezy, the relocate up onto the high ground, but Moose waiting for him. Has the Lincoln Spirit to be able to back away without getting stunned, chain locked, and burst even further. And they look to move in from the low ground, though. Don't have the vision uphill. More than once we've seen them drop a ward right next to the shop and then just leap in. That was a big play. They made a lot in game two. Not going to happen just yet. The move in position. Now they're going to start this off. They do manage to break his Lincoln Spirit. Chase done a focus him down as he's going to buy back and re time lapse into the fight. He will do so. Time lapsing in from the rear, immediately coming to work with the, the bugs. Brains down Zai, the charge on a crit, focusing him down too. Brew never got off the split without his control. They might not have a chance in this fight though. Sumail and Arteezy combining nicely. The fusal blade there. Now Sumail needs to run away. He gets purged. He's being focused. He purges off the purge. The counter purge indeed. Only Kevin were guessing this game. Now Arteezy focused down. He will fall. That's four. Great buyback there by me. The buyback time lapse play. Yep. So they got the benefit of the swarm. They committed a lot just to break the Lincoln Spear and then kill him as Cancel will move in. This is going to prompt a brute, but they better get something done with this crit. Thank you, the bugs. Now the charge through by Monkeys. Great way to deal with those meta aspects. So far being largely negated in this fight. Cancel now moving forward. Moves in pretty deep. Now got a time lapse back out. Arteezy's blows the God Strength. Has the BKB. The God Strength still quite a bit of time left on it. Omni Flash coming through. Not getting a heck of a lot as they overbroke through this. Leaping forward with Z Freak, but the BKB now committed good patience by Arteezy. Wants to bring down 
cancel, but again, the kiting of the Astral friggin' Imprisonment. He survives this, they get three more kills, or at least the vast majority. Uh, certainly you and I didn't have a whole lot of faith in them. Even after game two, you just look at EG's results and have to say they're favored. Uh, but Complexity battling back great adjustments in the draft. The OD has been massive for them in both of these games. In this game they haven't won yet, but it is looking real bleak for EG. Yeah, cancel and move, both like uh, having great position these fights. Z-Freak's arrows have been on point this game, landing three, four of them on the way through, and uh, then of course the Sven uh, being controlled largely by that. He's here in his spot where he might just go down here. They have the Moonlight Shadow, do they have detection for him? They do, they have a dust on side. One last swing of that hammer will get the kill. Just a bit too quick to die, or they could have turned, but Cancel's gonna set up. They have buyback on Spearbreaker. Arrow coming through. Long duration stun on the probably the least important hero at this stage, too. Mal just sees this and he comes rushing in. Swindles there. Hang back for now. They're gonna commit a lot on this OD. Buyback now for the Spearbreaker. As Moves being focused, but he's just gonna time lapse it on. Live for now. And they get the Lotus Orb reflected. Some of our TZP can use the dodge Then the Overgrowth comes through. Gets to work with that big hammer. Who doesn't have time lapse? Has to be careful. Being focused. Chain stun brought down by the crits. That's a dieback on the Spearbreaker. Now they can look for a third kill. They They've also set off the Weaver who doesn't have buybacks, they've gotten one late, but they've got to be careful not to give up one in turn. Z-Freak with the Lotus Orb, he's defensively, and now focusing on the OD, they bring him down. Or actually, no, he survived for the time being, that's the Aegis, now they bring him down. But can they kill the second time? That's the question. Chiba's guard committed. Swindle's coming back into the fray, drops the hammer, unloads it. Not enough to hit with the living armor, the Lotus Orb, the push tag, he's still surviving! He's still alive! It's an ultra kill! OD devours all! Oh, GG. And they just called a GG. That was sick plays by Universe in that fight too. He threw cancel up like I think two or three times with the panda spirits, but there's too much on complexity. This buyback for monkeys, even though he just flew in it. This OG combo with the tree, overgrowth on top of uh, Z Freak's positioning in the fight. It's like wow, complexity. It's happening. That was, was, that was really big, honestly. Like after their like devastating loss in the first game to that alchemist, them being able to bring it back, having such fortitude, that was. Definitely very impressive.